Is your baby headed off to college? Sending a child off to college is an exciting and nerve wracking time. Uh, it's expected for people to get wrapped up in everything that needs to get done to prepare their child uh, to move away and be ready for college that you might forget uh, that this can have insurance impact uh, for you, either positive or negative. Um, so it's expected that people overlook the insurance impact. That's why we're here to remind you of life changes that can, can have an effect on your insurance. So let's start with the good stuff, the discounts. We all know insurance or college is wicked expensive. Uh, so any discount on anything is appreciated when you are sending your, coll your college student off to school. So the first one is on your auto insurance policy. Uh, if, you're, if you send your student away to school, they live more than 100 miles away and they do not have a car with them uh, on campus or available to them uh, while they're away, uh, you can get a discount on your auto insurance for that since they're not going to be driving your vehicle all the time. Now you will not want to remove them from your auto policy uh, because most likely when they come home from breaks they'll be driving your vehicles and you'll want them covered in those instances. Uh, but you do get a break if they're more than 100 miles away uh, and they do not have access to a vehicle. Uh, you just want to check with your insurance company or agent to make sure that that discount is available uh, for you. The next discount is if your uh, student, if your child is enrolled as a full-time student uh, and they carry a B average or better, uh, some companies offer a good student discount. Now here's a hint, uh, this doesn't just apply for college students, so if your high school student uh, carried a B average or better, uh, just check with your insurance agent or company, uh, see if you're eligible, if they offer that discount, uh, you will need to provide transcripts uh, to provide proof that they carry a B average or better and that they are enrolled uh, full time in school. So, now what about covering your stuff while it's away at school? Now, if you have a homeowner's or renter's insurance policy, those policies are going to extend coverage uh, for your stuff and your liability while they are at school. Be aware though, there are some limitations. Uh, some homeowner's insurance policies will limit the amount of coverage that they extend for the contents to only 10% of what you insure on your policy. Now, most likely this isn't gonna be a big deal uh, just because most homeowner's insurance policies uh, cover your contents for well over $150,000. Some are probably over $200,000. Uh, so you can you know, pretty safely assume that you're gonna extend $15,000 or greater coverage to your child's dormitory, uh, which hopefully should be plenty uh, for them. But you will wanna check with your insurance agent or company uh, to see if any limitations apply uh, for your policy. Now, in order for your students uh, to be able to get that benefit of your homeowner's insurance policy extending coverage for them, uh, they do need to keep their primary address as your address. So if they have moved uh, out of state and they change their address to that state, which I know in some circumstances people might do that for a tuition break, uh, which might be more worthwhile to do it, you know, to, to get that. But just be aware that if they do that, your homeowner's policy will no longer extend coverage for them. Uh, they also need to have resided with you uh, just prior to them moving away for school. So if they lived away from home for a period of time, but then decided, hey, you know what? Uh, I'm not gonna live in this apartment any, any longer. I'm gonna go to school. Uh, they change their address back to yours. It's not, the coverage is still not gonna extend because they did not reside with you before they left. Uh, this is, you know, comes into play with like military personnel too. Uh, if they're away on leave and then they come back and they go directly to school, um, your policy will not extend coverage for them. They need to reside with you uh, before that. So, now you may consider purchasing a renter's insurance policy to cover their stuff uh, while it was away. Uh, and that's not a bad idea. Uh, and probably the, one of the biggest benefits of that is you can get a lower deductible. On your homeowner's insurance policy, most deductibles are $1,000. And you can imagine that uh, one of the most common claims on a college campus is gonna be theft. 
and it's usually gonna be smaller items that are probably gonna fall under that thousand dollar range. Uh, you know, electronics or bicycles uh, is usually probably the most common uh, theft claims that we see at college campuses. Uh, so you'll get a lower deductible. You can get a renter's policy with a deductible of $250 or less. Uh, and then it's also just nice that you kind of carve out this period of time where it's higher risk um, for a potential claim to keep those claims off of your homeowner's insurance policy. Uh, you might not want a claim that happened to your student while they're away at college to affect your homeowner's insurance. Uh, so you might take that into consideration uh, and whether or not you want to purchase a separate homeowner's insurance or a separate renter's insurance policy for your student. So I hope you found these tips helpful. Uh, if you'd like us to review your insurance and provide you with a quote, uh, we'd be happy to do so, and we'll talk to everybody soon.